Today, people, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a hot air balloon from a garbage bag. And these are just the cheap ones that you can buy at Wally World. It won't really focus. Um, but it's a 121 liter bag. There's bigger ones, but they're also more money. These are just the cheapest ones you can find. I think they're 5 bucks for 20 or something like that. And then you also need some uh, original Zip fire starters. They work the best. We've tried just about everything else doesn't really work too well and then also you need some mechanical wire I used 18 gauge uh, you can probably use heavier or lighter wouldn't go too much lighter um, and I'll show you how to how to build one it's pretty quick easy and a lot of fun so what I got here is um, three pieces of wire there's one that's only maybe four four inches, five inches long. There's two that are about two feet long, a little, little less. Just so when you make an X, you spread them open. You make an X out of it. You want it to spread the bag o the bag open. So I just twist the middle together, like so. And it might be tough to see. I don't know, but it's pretty simple. And then you twist a little sticker on there that will eventually hold the fire starter. And it doesn't really matter how you do this either as long as it's kind of sort of in the center. And this is the end result. And then I will grab a bag and tie her on. Okay, so here we have a garbage bag. Get some air in it. I got this piece here, hold it upside down so the prickers will point up. If you were to accidentally do it the wrong way, you can bend them around later. So I prick it through the bag a couple times, bend the end over. Then I'll find the other half of the bag here, prick it through a couple times. And bend the end of the wire over as well. I got two more sides. Couple times through there, bend it over. On this side. Then you'll see it will hold the bag open pretty good. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Because you're gonna send the thing into space anyhow. You're never gonna see it again. Unless you drive behind it, go pick it up. It probably be, would be better for the environment. So yeah, as you see it will hold the bag open. There's all there's to the whole hot air balloon. And then you grab some fire starter here. And you'll, you'll find the happy medium yourself. Um, if you go with too big a pieces, you'll get too much hot air in the balloon. And uh, the balloon will melt. Now if you go with too small a piece, guess what, the balloon won't take off. So it's a little trial and error. See this balloon here, got two pieces, you can see the size of my hand. Uh, they're not very big. I could have actually gone with a little bit bigger I think. Now today it is minus 20 out, it is a little bit too windy. but. Then you just hold the bag open like the bottom. Make sure that uh, your little candle is centered. Light her up and let the bag fill with hot air and eventually she'll take off. I'll show you on the video. Well, here we are people. It is the night that we're gonna light the balloon. It's a little windy. It's about minus a 28. And uh, I'm gonna light it up and see if she goes. And as soon as she flies, I'll come and get the camera again. So we'll let the bag fill with hot air. Nicely filling up.
And there she goes. Higher and higher. Further and further. So you can't see him no more. Kind of started to film a little bit too late because I had issues. But you can see the little, uh, little white spot moving there. Up to the light. Looks like a little star. And they'll go about for, oh, a good 20 minutes sometimes. <laughs>